To make yourself a microphone mace, first you need a microphone. Secondly, you need a sock. And then thirdly, you just do this sort of thing. And there you have it! A microphone mace, or just my microphone when I'm filming from home, because I don't have anything to stop the wind when I go... I mean, you still hear it a little bit, but anyway, hello everybody! <laughs> I'm in the Littlewood, also known as Martin, and welcome back to The Escapist 2. You might notice that our room is slightly differently located than yesterday's episode. Well, I say yesterday, the day before that. Um, basically, I'm filming from home because I'm recently back from a trip, and for whatever reason, I, it recognised that I had a save on the Steam Cloud, wouldn't download it, so I've basically gone through again and started fresh, because I'm fairly confident that, having caught up with it, I could maybe get out of this prison today maybe I'm not a hundred percent on that but maybe because if you have a little look inside my desk right now you can see that I've got more tins of paint than you could ever imagine uh, I've got an adrenaline shot I've got some duct tape tool handle loads of timber there was a load of timber and a metal sheet inside of the uh, the toilet area just there but that seems to have gone unfortunately so we obviously need to make the last parts of this plan happen so one of the comments on the last video it got tons of likes on it was saying that I would only need the red key to make all of this happen which I guess technically makes sense because if you get the red key each room or each cell has a red key door on the right hand side of it which is obviously the one that the guards come through whenever anything gets alerted we then wouldn't have to go into this room and go upwards we could just go straight through that door straight through the front door and then fix the motorbike up so that might also be an option but to be honest if I've already got the tins of paint all I need now is a cutting device and then the means of making the thruster I think it was wasn't it so if we open up the crafting recipe in just a second we can find out exactly what that was and then basically the day that you've not seen or the two days that you've not seen ahead of this one right now um, I actually ran around for the most part of it in the in the medic outfit and my heat never rose and I couldn't tell because the speech marks appear above it whenever the icon appears but I almost think that my reputation with the guards was going up as opposed to going down because they were saying things like oh don't let them intimidate you and oh coming out for drinks with us after work and stuff like that so I think they genuinely thought that I was one of their own and it, like nothing else was changing the heat meter wasn't going up either which was awesome so let's have a look at this crafty recipe then so I managed to get my intellect up to 72 to ensure that no matter what it is I can make it and we're all good. I'm fairly certain we've already looked at it before, but it's been like four or five days since I last filmed this, so I've lost track of it all. Oh, it's job time right now as well. Oh dear, let me get my trowel and everything. There you go, good. I've got a pipe on me at the moment, some tubing. I'm assuming that's for some kind of quest, but I'm not 100% sure on that just yet. But let's very quickly do this. I've got this technique relatively down now. It's just a lot of clicking at the right time, so it's dig the hole with spacebar, swap over to this and press E, and then swap to that one, press spacebar, there's the hole filled, go again, look at the swiftness. I think once you figure out this game's like strange hotbar system, it's not too difficult to, um, to get swift with it. There you go. Gotta get swifty. Swifty with it, man. And the cool thing about wearing the medic outfit all the time as well is that obviously I can dip in and out of the medic ward whenever I feel like it. And on top of that, um, whenever I, even if my rating is dropping with them, having this job is nice because basically I give them those plant pots and then they instantly seem to like me again, which is quite nice. So even if there is any kind of little dip, um, it's instantly rectified, which is awesome. Uh, what do we want to do? We were checking that crafting recipe, weren't we? So... Where is it? It was like some kind of thruster. Oh, that was another thing as well. So I finally found out what the item was. I mean, I don't think it's in this prison. It's not, no. But remember that gas mask that we had to make that had that weird cloth looking thing? It was basically like a gauze or a bandage that you get from the medic area. Um, so that's what that was in the end. It wasn't like a weird cloth or a silk or something like that. Um, the one that we needed in Rattlesnake Springs. That was the actual, that was the actual item we were looking for. Now, where is it? Let me just go through all of these. Uh, keep going. Nothing in those ones. Where are you, friend? You're not going to be on the lowest level, are you? Because the makeshift ladder's there. Oh, there it is. Got it. Makeshift rocket thruster. So we need, basically, a can of soda and some mints. So I did see one person selling a can of soda. I've got 335 bucks at the minute. So this actually sits us in a really nice position. There's your soda. That's good. And then we need some mints. Which I haven't actually seen just yet. So I'm worried that we might not be able to come across that as easily as I'm hoping. Pie filling, cooked pie, no. There's nothing of what we need. No. What are we going to need for our cutting device, by the way? Because obviously we're going to need to cut the uh, the roof thing off. Lightweight cutter, so that's the second one. 
flimsy cutter, that's it. So we need two files and some duct tape. Uh, are any of you guys selling files? I feel like you were, yep. Yeah, and I've already got plenty of duct tape. I did also already waste a file on um, on making that tool handle because I thought that I might need that at some point, but I, don't, I didn't in the end. Ugh, that's annoying. Okay, so let me bring the tool handle out, I guess. We'll drop that one into there. And then all we need ourselves now is one more file. I guess if I just run to all the shops, someone is bound to have one. And then the search for the mint continues. Also, I'm getting pretty good at, like, dodging these cameras as well. I've just noticed that they don't reach the bottom too, which is quite nice. And pretty much the moment that they reach that midpoint, there's no chance of them seeing you. Uh, no, nothing from there. And also, when you search the top left corner ones, I've always been searching them from the underside. If you do it from the upper side, so you're technically closer to the camera, but it also doesn't result in anything too bad, which is quite good. Right, where's a shop? I wish to partake. Oh, they're all, like, through there. There's actually not that many shops. We've got Tom in there. We've got Ross over there. And that's seemingly it. And then there's a couple more shops on the higher floors. Maybe I should just search desks. Let's do that. Let's let's start with a desk search. And then failing that by the end of the day, we can go ahead and do everything else. So that camera is just about on me. Come on, move, 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 move. There you go. Should be able to search now. Hmm? Nope, not what I'm looking for in there. Oh, there's Timmy. <laughs> it's Timmy with his tall hair. Oh, the camera's clocked me. I've got a second or two to grab what I need. Yeah, sugar mints. <gasps> Apparently those sugar mints were for a quest. I'm not bothered about that. Not bothered about that. I will quit that quest immediately. Dudes, 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 dudes. Hold on a second. There it is, the thruster. Oh, yeah, makeshift rocket thruster. So I failed one favor. That's fine. So we've got those two. We just need that. And then we can make our paint things. And then we're good to go. That's pretty much all we need, right? Unless we can continue to make them sturdier. What would I need to up them after the uh, the initial one? So that's the initial one. And then, yeah, it's just more It's more of them after that point. Okay. Uh, Tom is now sending another file. Nice, nice, nice. We can make our initial cutters. Where is it? Uh, let's drop you into there. You out to there. Oh, baby. One, two, three. Craft one of those for me. Cool. We've probably got enough in us to buy maybe one more set today. Something in that range. No, not what we need just there. Let's get back to the desk searching. A really cool bit of information that somebody taught me, actually, is apparently, you know those um, on the main menu, it said you needed keys in order to get through to different prisons. Well, apparently, that is based on the various different types of escapes that you do. So I think for each kind of escape that I did off the train, I got a key for each one of those, I think. And then I think, for example, like the DLC prism, I got out by, like, pretending my heart stopped. That gets you one key. If you then get out via the normal means where you just walk out the side of the map, then that gives you another key, apparently. I don't know, if, like, you know, the level of truth in those statements, but it seemed pretty legit. Like, it sounds like it's pretty viable, so um, I'm inclined to believe it at the moment. I'm just going to make some space in my desk at the moment because it is getting hella full. Um, I could do with one more tin of paint, actually. Then I'd have my second set of steps. I'm hoping that the only thing we have to repair is the rocket thruster. Because if not, then we're going to be in there with no way back out, basically. <laughs> I almost want to make sure we have that extra way back out. Uh, we need to pop some more stuff in the desk, don't we? There we go. I was just worried that we we're going to get caught by the guards. Now, if I go into here and buy something in the canteen, i.e. Um, another, another file, we should be able to still get out of here, right? I think so. We need a guard outfit before the end of the day as well, if we're planning to get out today. And I don't see that happening. Right, what's Ross selling? Ooh, he's actually selling the ladders. Ooh, that could be really good. Maybe, oh, I don't know. There's another can of soda there. Oh, there's another pin, uh, tin of paint, actually. I will buy that because that's not contraband. That means we now have two lots of the ladders. In case we do need to come back, then we'll be okay. So basically now we've just got to get ourselves a guard outfit before the end of the day. I do have a lighter and I do have a cup. I just don't have any chocolate, I don't think. So that would be really, really cool to get. I'll triple check the various different jobs that I've got um, and see if any of them entail finding some chocolate. And then I can basically just abandon that quest. Well, get yourself out of bed, mate. Right, so what we got? Let's grab these two. Let's make ourselves another one. Where is it? Uh, there's another one. Nice. I'm going to pull you out. I'm going to drop you in. Cool, cool, cool. Just going to drop all that into there. Actually, I might as well keep that one in there for now. I've got the cup. And if we can find some chocolate, we'll be sailing. Oh, actually, I just thought it's my job here, isn't it? Oh, no. Let's get ourselves over there. I really enjoy this job. I think I, I enjoy it for two reasons. The item it gives you at the end of it 
is an item that the guards will like you again for. And also, the second part of that job period basically fills out the job itself. So you're doing basically one job, but you're getting two lots of pay, which is just, like, amazing. There has to be chocolate somewhere around here. I'll tell you what, I'm going to work up from the top desk and go downwards. Uh, that That's probably going to clock me. That guard there is real close, but... If I get the chocolate, oh, another file! That's amazing. I wonder if I can walk around outside at night time with a medic outfit on. I wonder. Do you reckon that's a thing? Do you think I get in trouble? Because they haven't spotted me any other time of the day, so I feel like that might be doable. Let me throw these two together. Basically means we don't have to worry about taking an adrenaline shot with us in the night time. Hmm, I've got all these questions <laughs> and very, very little answers. If I can dip my head into here real quick. Go have a little look for some chocolate, because I don't think anybody sells chocolate, right? No, nothing from you. No, there's another cutter from, from you. I might take it. But then I need another bit of duct tape. Yeah, maybe that wasn't a great idea. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought that guy was coming for me then. I was like, I've got no beef with any of the other prisoners in here. I'm literally, I don't think I've knocked out one prisoner in the entire time that I've been in here. Ah, oh, careful. Move away, Martin. All right. Well, he still noticed me in there. Oh, there's two guys down there. Could either of them have chocolate? Let me try and get there before the medics do. Oh, jeez. What we got? Uh, how low is that guard's health right now? Uh, let's try it. No, nothing. Let's see. Oh, there's another soda. Oh, I should have taken that soda. Damn. He got away too quickly. At least that guard didn't attack me. I would have lost that file otherwise. Right, let's quickly run upstairs. Oh, careful. To be honest, this is the kind of thing that I could do in the middle of the day. Like, I don't, I don't think I need to rush the escape to me tonight. I could probably still get away with it. Ooh, another item customizer's unlocked. I'm getting quite a lot of those this time around. It seems to be when I check deaths and also um, when I loot items as well. That seems to be the, the factors that are counting up towards those, like, goals unlocking. Come on, come on, come on. No, damn it. One thing I noticed as well, actually, when I was starting this new save is for whatever reason, when you go to make a, like, lineup of inmates now, there are, like, significantly fewer YouTubers. Like, I think I rolled it about 30, 40 times, and I, I didn't get one YouTuber any single time. So I'm kind of sad about that. They were a little bit excessive before, but now I'm just not getting any. Like, the developer of the game said that it should be one in every single lineup, but for me, that didn't seem to be the case. So unless I just got severely unlucky, um, I'm wondering, like, how hard that's been patched. It might be a little bit of a bug temporarily. Unless they're guards... Because then that makes them harder for me to notice. Oh, there it is. We can get out today. We can get out today. Now, what I could do is I could lure a guard in here on purpose. Like so. Oh, no, I, need, I need to do this on a desk properly. And then knock that guard out. There we go. Are you going to come? Yeah, wait, wait. it looks like the guard's on, coming in this way. So if I stand outside here and then run inside and knock out that guard. Good. Uh, take the outfit because that's all I need. And then hopefully no other guards clock me before I put this back in my desk. All these snipers. Forgot about that. Uh, what do I need? What do I need? What do I need? Take that out. Put that in. And I almost want to get caught before bedtime. Because then that might make things a bit better. Yeah, maybe I should. Maybe if I get knocked out before bedtime. Yeah, go on. Knock me out. Knock me out. I'm fine with that. i got nothing on me to lose. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. I think we've got this, everybody. I think it's happening. We're absolutely smashing through them in this prison, but admittedly, this time around, there's a lot more, like, cheesy escapes, isn't there, than the previous game. But I probably will still go through and try and do each one of them properly, but for the meanwhile, for, like, the beginnings of this Let's Play, I just want to go through one at a time and do it properly, like, with, you know, the special escapes. Because then what I can do is I can even use the multiplayer aspect of it to do the regular escapes. Obviously, I can do the multiplayer-specific ones, but then also use another player to get out, like, you know, the tricksy way. Oh, now I have just thought... I'm not going to have my stuff, am I? Am I going to be able to get out of this room? Oh, I just thought about that. Does that door lock? Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Ah, it, it's already locked. Damn it. So if I had the red key, I'd be fine. Whoa, I'll drop that in there. I tell you what, let's just try it. Let's just try sleeping through till tomorrow. And then we'll basically just run straight over to the spot and escape whilst roll call is happening. Like, this could be disastrous, or it could work just fine. I get the feeling it's going to work just fine. I'm going to jinx it by saying that, but let's just see what happens. Our heat rating is, like, at zero right now. There's loads of guards knocking about. We know that guard has now got the, uh, the sighing key. And I'm sure you had a key card as well, but I can't be too certain about that. Right, there shouldn't be any guards knocking around here at the moment, so I think we'll be okay. I can't remember how to use these. Is it space? There you go. 
There you go, nice. And then, is it the cutters like so? Oh, no, it's the other way, isn't it? Hold on, let me pick up the ladders and place them here. Now step on it, there you go. Now try the cutters. Yeah, buddy. Hopefully I've got enough stamina for this. It's only taking 20 at a time. It might not be enough. I could leave it low and I could go and beef them up a little bit. Mmm, we've gone to 60% for 100. That's, that should mean that we should cut the other one as well, right? Yeah, that should actually be okay. Let's give this a try. So start cutting through here. There's no guards knocking them out, I don't think. Our stamina's completely fine. It's just whether we'll run out of this before then. Oh, it's basically 10% of this for 20% of that. And that should make this the perfect escape. Oh, can then drop down? Fix motorbike? Maybe I can craft a makeshift rocket thruster. Yeah, I have that. Now I try to escape. There we go. And then do we just... We're done. We're done. We finished it. Oh, my God. We got a ramp to jump over the fence with as well. Wait, what the? Whoa! We didn't even go over the ramp. We just went straight through the fence. Oh, the warden's going to love this one. <laughs> yeah, buddies. We are straight out of the Kapow camp using the Speed McQueen tip. We got that from the telephone. That is awesome stuff. A B rating, nine items crafted, 16 favors done, two knockouts, two tiles destroyed. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. In the next episode, we will be heading into the next prison, which is... Pause for dramatic effects. <laughs> uh, it's going to be the HMS Orca. I'm on a boat. Don't you ever forget. See you later. Ta-ra.